Jacob August Rees was a Danish-American journalist and photographer born in 1849. An immigrant, Rees had very humble beginnings and was a poor carpenter for a large part of his early life, before falling into journalism. He wrote about the conditions he faced while living in the slums of New York City, describing truth vividly to bring attention to the squalor. He began to use photographs to supplement his work, finding that images carried more weight than his words alone. His most famous work was that of the tenements in the Five Points neighborhood in New York City. His goal was to expose the lifestyle of the immigrants who lived in these close quarters. This image is entitled Lodgers in Bayard Street Tenement, Five Cents a Spot, and was taken in 1889. Reese is well known for photos like these for his early use of flash photography. This allowed him to photograph dark living spaces, something that was previously not possible, and he was in turn one of the first journalists to reveal how people really lived in the lower class. This kind of ethically evaluative photography is often rooted in journalistic intention. Reese's goal to reveal how the other half lived was his inspiration, his moral compass leading him to success. This photo is representative of his work aesthetically speaking as well. He often used the entire frame for his compositions, capturing as much detail as possible. The black and white allows for the viewer to focus on the discolorations of dirt and the wear and tear of the subject's possessions. The closer you look, the more you will find in Reese's work. This is another piece designed for the viewer to make ethical judgments. Entitled, The Man Slept in This Cellar for Four Years, this 1890 photograph is also an explanatory one. Rees was at his core a journalist, which means that each of his photos has an element of truth-telling, and in each of them, he tries to tell a story of what was happening on that day. His journalism turns into art as you notice the spatial relationships and camera angles Rees chose. The rule of thirds is incorporated, as well as horizontal lines. The angle of the camera and the front flash lighting makes the bed and man appear even smaller than they are, and adds a dark depth to the picture, leaving the viewer to interpret the rest of the scene for themselves. Overall, it is a sad sight and succeeds in revealing how the other half lives. His work is important and stands as a reminder of the power that a photo can have to provoke real social change. At a time when it was very easy to turn a blind eye to the devastation hitting the lower class, Reese used visual and written language to reveal important moral and ethical issues to those in power. His work is significant and is admired for its honesty as well as its historical value.